thought it was worth it this instant just doing a pass paper with you um question with you about the diode you could do this before or after the one um that i've set you a few bits of terminology that perhaps i didn't get over in the first one we we sort of talked about this i think the variable power supply is a great great starting point here you'll see what they've drawn and we'll do this in more detail later is a thing called a potential divider um, we'll talk about that more later so we're definitely going to need an ammeter or I suppose in reality it'd be a micrometer we have to have a, a resistor to protect the circuit and a diode if we make that the plus side you'll see why that's important and there's our voltmeter so we would then change the reading change the amount of voltage recording the voltage and the current you need lots of readings because we're creating a curve you need a lot more data to create generate a curve than you do a straight line and we would say current conventionally flows from the positive to the negative terminal so whenever you're asked for the direction of the current that's always the direction we give now you might want remember that the electrons inside are actually going the other way usually we can ignore that the components don't generally don't care about the order um lots of people always ask at this point why don't we just rewrite electricity um for electrons i suppose there are situations where we have positive ions moving in a solution and stuff like that or in a battery so the way that's just the way it is for the moment but that leads to this term forward bias that's the way rat that refer the the bias is the way round the diode is and if it's in the forward bias that means the electricity goes through that way and it's easy for the electricity to pass through to do the reverse bias we turn the diode around or we swap the leads in the power supply but of course not both so we've talked about the procedure here that's giving a logical set of steps set the voltage to 10 different values record the current for each value repeat with the diode turn round in the other direction for the reverse bias i'll attach the mark scheme as well and this is one of these kind of questions about you know knowing about this um special voltage that the the um, diode starts to conduct at. Now, we haven't talked a lot about series and power, but that's 12 volts. And you can see that 12 volts is connected directly to that 8 ohm resistor. So we can just say V equals IR. So I is equal to V divided by R, which is 12 <laughs> divided by 8, which is 1.25 amps. Okay, calculate the current in the 4 ohm resistor if the PD across the diode when it is in forward bias is 0.65 volts. So that's referring to this part of the graph here where actually we can be pretty sure about what the voltage is. I haven't got that quite right. It's got to go really flat and then suddenly take off it at about 0.65 volts. So we know that that voltage here is never going to go above 0.65. Now that voltage plus that voltage is 12. So this voltage here is at 12 minus 0.65, which is 11.35 volts. So calculating the current, we know we've just said that I is equal to V over R. So it's 11. 0.35 divided by 4. Just looking around for a calculator. Can't quite do that one in my head. 11.35 divided by 4 equals 2.8375. And it says, give your answer to an appropriate number of significant figures. Or well, everything supplied was to two, 
So we round that back to 2.8 amps. Okay, hope you found that useful. Thank you.